So my most requested video, what I eat in a day. Hey folks, my name's Allie. It is 6.15ish in the morning and let's get this day started. So usually um, during the weekdays, I get up around 5.30, but today is Saturday. So I got up a little bit earlier than usual. I usually get up around 8.30 on a Saturday which is way earlier than I used to get up. Um, but today I have a lot to do, including making this video. So I got up a little bit earlier than I usually do on a Saturday. Also, I'm a fan of Millennial Pink. I don't know why, I just love it. And it's modern and feminine yet mature. <laughs> Side note, so the first thing I do when I wake up is I put on the coffee and then I get in the shower. But since today's Saturday and I have more time in the morning, I don't really have to go anywhere until about 10. Um, what I'm gonna do is make my coffee and then eat my breakfast and show you what that is. So, here we go. So, we got the Keurig, turning it on. And even though it's a Keurig, I like to use the reusable one. Um, the muscle uses pods, which is fine. I just, I don't know. I'm kind of cheap. I'm not cheap. I just, I don't know. I'm frugal, so this is a better price option and you know it's better for the environment. So. I've tried lots of different coffees right now I'm doing the Mick Cafe but I forgot to use the coupon that was on there and I think for this big old tub it's gonna last me about three and a half weeks I think. So I'm just gonna put in the reusable cup and this it's just stained it's not dirty I promise I washed it last night. The cup I mean. Here is my gram scale. Okay, and then on the back it goes to grams from ounces. Put a plate on. Zero it out, and now I just measure out my gorgonzola blue cheese. I've been having this for like two months in a row, and I really like it. One more, one more. And this is by Frigo, and I actually bought a lot last week, more than I intended to. Well, I had more than I needed, so I won't have to buy any today at the grocery store. So that's good. Frigo, gorgonzola blue cheese. I'm not sure what the difference is between gorgonzola and blue cheese, but I'm sure there is one. So I have my crumbled cheese, and I have my coffee. And what I like to do with the cheese is, since it's already in crumbled form, I just kind of mash it between a fork, and I eat it. And so in the morning, I just sit here like this. It's all nice and quiet and dark. And I just have those morning thoughts. Like, you know, I'm sure a lot of people after they graduate college and become adults, they wake up early for work and they look out the window and they say, wow, this is my life for the next 40, maybe 50 years. You know, waking up early, going to work for eight or nine hours and then driving home and being tired. But. I did have those thoughts and then these videos kind of like, I don't know, they took my mind off of work and it was a hobby and I didn't really have one. I did some writing for a while but I haven't done that in a long time. So I don't know, these are fun and I enjoy doing them. So if you're watching, thank you for watching. So the plan for today, um, starting at 10, there's a holiday market for like Christmas stuff that the muscle and I are going to go to and then um, we're going to go grocery shopping. He goes once every two weeks, I go once a week and it's better for my budget if I just buy bigger packages of like meats like chicken breasts. A whole thing of chicken breasts for $10 will last me six days and so it's just cheaper for me. So that's the plan. He works at four after that and then I'll be probably working on this video. So see you in a bit. <laughs> Okay, so I had a request for a day in the life, um, so our plans for today are to go to a holiday market, because um, we're trying to get in that Christmas spirit, and first we got to get gas, and then pick up some cash for the market, and we'll go to the market, and then we're going to go do groceries, and then Mr. Muscles over here has to work <laughs> at four, so um, then it'll just be me, so stay tuned. So the thing about 
us spending the day together is we have opposite schedules on most. I work during the day, Monday through Friday, and he has an alternating schedule. So when we do have a Saturday morning or afternoon off together, we just like to go and do fun and exciting things. So getting in the Christmas spirit means hanging out and doing Christmassy fun things in the cold weather. It's pretty cold today. What did you say it was? Uh, 47. 47 degrees. So it's going to be cold out there, but it's going to be fun. So we just left the holiday market and it was indoors. I was not expecting that, but it's a good thing because it's cold outside. So we didn't have to stand out in the windy, cold, crisp air, which was nice. But also too, because it was indoors, I couldn't really film that much. So it's just a couple um, scenes here and there. And I just feel like if it's indoors, it's more private, even though it's still public property and it's a public event, I just didn't feel comfortable filming. Um, if it were outdoors, I'd be fine with it. But Anyway, I got a few things. I made out like a bandit, got three pairs of earrings for $15. Um, so yeah, we're headed to the grocery store now. We're getting gas and I'll get back to you. Okay, so we just got to Walmart. I got my shopping bags. You ready to do this? I don't even know what we're gonna get. I haven't even planned out this week, so we'll just see what looks good, I guess. Okay. That's the one thing. You get to eat sandwiches and I don't, but that's okay. Hard not to be tempted by the halo top, but I'm going to resist, even though it's technically keto friendly. I'm always stuck in the freezer aisle because he makes me freeze to death in here. <laughs> He's mean. So one of my Instagram followers recommended a low carb wine, red wine Pinot Noir by Cabot, but I don't see it here, so I'm just gonna get the barefoot. <laughs> So I broke a bottle of nail polish. It's not my fault, it slipped through the shopping cart between the bars. But now we're looking for books. Okay, so we got lots of food. Yours is in the bags, mine are in the red bags. I shopped for a week, you shopped for two weeks. So my total was $47 plus. That includes some um, nail polish remover. And now we are leaving Walmart. It was hectic in there and lots of people getting in my way. <laughs> Um, because we shopped together today, the cart was super heavy, so I couldn't like stop and start it as quickly as I'm used to, because I usually just go alone, and so I felt like I was in everybody's way, and people were in my way, but it's okay. I did break the nail polish remover. It's not my fault. It is my fault. Okay, it fell through the bars on the cart when I put it in there, and just exploded. Oh, sorry. But I did end up buying one anyway, so sorry, Walmart. <laughs> so now we're going back and just unloading the groceries. So we just got back from Walmart and this is what I got for my week of groceries. Um, I had no plan going into this because I wanted to make a video all day and so I didn't even think to plan about my meals. But I mean, breakfast and lunch are pretty much always the same. <laughs> right now I'm doing cheese, blue cheese in the morning like you saw and um, I'm also doing turkey sausages for lunch. And then so I decided while I was at Walmart that I was just gonna do um, like a chicken stir fry. So I got some chicken breasts and the price on that was about $10. And then I got some veggies, I got mushrooms. And then uh, my favorite like hibachi takeout always has steamed cabbage and vegetables. So I got two bags of cabbage, which is really for coleslaw, but I don't know, to me it's just easier to get, to get the bag of already shredded cabbage instead of doing it on my own and then the broccoli that I can steam all together and then I got a few sugar-free rock stars zero carbs zero calories and I've never really cooked with vegetable oil I always use either butter or olive oil or coconut oil um, but I thought I'd try it since it's my favorite hibachi place I'm pretty sure it uses vegetable oil since it's a little bit cheaper so I just, I kind of want to recreate the taste that I'm used to for um, a stir fry. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I got my diet root beer, 
I got some one a day women's multivitamins and then I got some chili pepper paste for my stir fry to give it a little bit of spice. I overbought turkey sausages last week so I only needed one box of it this time so I got some more turkey sausage which I like to dip in my Dijon mustard and then in the back we got some barefoot Cabernet and that was my grocery shopping with the muscle today. Okay, so I got up early about 6.15. I showed you that I eat my cheese for breakfast. And while it was morning time, I put my sausages in the oven and then I just let them cool down. Um, Cause that's what I do for work. I just put them in the oven and then I don't heat them up for work. I just eat them room temperature. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, so I have my turkey sausages and it's been a long day. We did a lot. So now I'm gonna eat lunch, um, turkey sausages. So, yeah. Okay, so the rest of the plans for the day is the muscle has to go to work at four. I'm gonna work on this video that I'm filming. And I think it's kind of turning out to be not only a what I eat in a day, but also a day in the life. So I think I'm gonna merge the two. So this evening my plan is to edit this video hopefully after it's done. And I may even cook for you if I make my weekly meal for tonight. Kind of like hibachi teriyaki chicken, just without the teriyaki sauce. I'm just gonna use a little soy sauce to keep the carb count low because teriyaki sauce has lots of sugar. So hopefully that'll work out well. I've been craving it since I had some hibachi takeout last week, which if you follow my Instagram, you saw. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. And then maybe watch some Netflix and maybe have a glass of wine. So we'll see. So this turkey sausage, I was doing beef bratwursts, but for one length, they're about 260 calories and two grams of carbs. And I just wanted to feel fuller for lunch. So with these turkey sausages, what I can do is I can have two links because they're mostly protein. It's turkey, it's a lot leaner than beef. So what I can do is I can have two links for 40 calories more, um, for a total of 300 calories and two grams of carbs. And they are delicious. So right now it's about 5.30. I usually like to start cooking around 5.45 or 6 and like I like to eat early. Um, it's just I'm on an eating schedule and I do get hangry if I'm starving and I get a little moody so I like to eat early. So in a few minutes I'm going to start cooking and I'm going to show you what I come up with so I hope you enjoy. So sorry if there's extra noise. The first thing I'm going to do is um, clean off my mushrooms and you're supposed to do them dry so I'm just going to wipe. There. I have my little Tupperware. Whoops. I have used my Easy cleanup. Et voila. It's kind of hard to do. I like long stems on my broccoli. I feel like it's kind of wasteful if I don't eat like the longer stem. Some people cut off just the florets, but I like the stem. I don't think it tastes any different than the rest of it so why not eat it so I got three heads of broccoli and I figure for about six days I'll eat about half a head per night plus some mushrooms plus some cabbage so I'll be cooking lots of veggies this week usually I do one main veggie um, like I'll just do asparagus one week, or I'll just do broccoli it's a little bit difficult to cut with a camera in your face and I know I keep bumping the camera I'm just hoping I don't cut myself on camera. <laughs> and now the last vegetable, I don't really have to chop or anything because I bought it pre-prepared, which sometimes is just easier um, since I'm already preparing all this. And it's probably better prepared than I could do. I don't really know how to grate a cabbage. I'm sure you just put it on a grater, but I don't know. Grating things aren't my favorite. Isn't my favorite thing um, just because I've grated my fingernail before, so I prefer not to. Now I've also got my chicken ready to go and I'm going to chop them up. And I know I should be using a cutting board but all I have are wooden ones and you're not supposed to put meat on a raw cutting board or a wood cutting board. You're not supposed to put raw meat on a wood cutting board. Sorry y'all, it's been a long day. Now I actually want these pieces a little bit smaller than I usually cut just because I'm going to stir fry it so they cook quickly on a high heat. Probably could have used a bigger plate, but oh well. Chicken is all cut up. Now I'm going to measure everything. Woohoo! Okay, I've got my trusty gram scale, and just this is just a notepad I use when I'm cooking. 
um, to write down the amount so that I can plug it into my um, Lose It app on my phone. And so I'm just going to turn it over to grams. There we go. So the grams for the chicken is 312. So I'm just going to make a note. Chicken, 312. So 87 broccoli. 103 mushroom. So 144 cabbage. And then that little sheet I'll use all throughout the week for all these vegetables because they're all going to be the same every night. So we are cooking. I have measured out my cap full of oil. So I forgot how light oil was. Um, you guys remember in you know elementary school you make those bottles of oil and water and different liquids and they separate and oil is always on top because it was lightest. So 14 grams of oil actually is a lot. Um, so I use half of the chicken and I'm going to use half of the vegetables. So yeah. And the reason I'm using vegetable oil is because I wanted to have that cheap takeout taste because that's what I'm craving so that's what I'm making. <laughs> So yeah, the vegetable oil, that's the first time I've ever seen a liquid given in grams. So that's pretty interesting. So maybe a couple more minutes to cook. And then I'm going to season with some soy sauce. Then I'm going to throw my veggies into the exact same pan with the rest of the oil. And then I'll saute them real quick and I'll be good to go. So because I've now prepped all my veggies for the week, all I have to do each night now is just cut up my chicken because I don't want to pre-cut it and dry it out. But cut up my chicken and then throw everything in a pan and it'll take me 15 minutes to have a really good dinner. So I'm really excited now. Okay, a tablespoon and then I'm going to add another. But I have to put down the camera. Ooh, yummy. Give it a shake. Get them nice and coated. Uh, the color is more golden brown on the um, in real life. I don't think it's showing up so well on the camera. So back on the stove we go with the same pan and the rest of the oil. A whole capful was a serving, which is nice to know. Okay, now here we go. Vegetables gonna fry them real quick. Okay, coming along pretty nicely. I maybe should have steamed the broccoli beforehand, but that's okay. I added some water to help steam it up a bit. Okay folks, there we go. That is my makeshift take home hibachi style chicken with just soy sauce and veggies. So that's about it and I cannot wait to eat it because I know I've already tried some and it's really good. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the good part. Well folks, that's about it for today. Um, it was a long day, um, 6 a.m. and now it's 7 and it's way past my dinner time. I wasn't hangry because I was busy making my video, but yeah, this video just really went places. I thought it was gonna start out as just one thing and it turned into something completely different and I think I'll be happy with the results, so. I hope you enjoy the video as well. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. It took up my whole Saturday, which kept me busy and occupied. Um, and I got to make some good food, so that's the good part. <laughs> One of the good parts. Um, as always, if you have a question or a request for a video, you can leave me a comment down below and I like to look through those. Thank you for watching. My name's Allie. Have a good one. Bye.